What's up guys, welcome back to another jailbreaking tutorial. This time it's gonna be about remote play and I know you guys have been asking me for that quite some time now and here we go guys. So as you can see here, I'm on my Mac and I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my PS4 right here. There we go. And it is now in function. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get this done step by step so you guys can enjoy remote playing your PS4 locally without internet. Oh, by the way, guys, you see this little update now, update later pop-up that keeps coming for every game. So stick until the end and I'm gonna show you a very simple trick on you know how to go and avoid this. And you know, sometimes even though system software 7.51 downloads, this little tip is gonna help you a lot to avoid this and you know, you're never gonna see it again. All right, so stick until the end to find that out. So guys, we're gonna talk about how to remote play on a Windows PC, on a Mac OS X and an Android phone. So luckily I did have an Android phone lying around so I've been able to test that out. We're gonna talk about the very basic requirements across all devices first and then right after that I'm gonna split this video apart into Windows category, the Mac category and the Android phone category. So feel free to switch into whichever one that you require for your PS4. Let's get straight into it. So first things first guys, we definitely need to get the Chiaki app and we're gonna show you right here. So this is what the Chiaki is in the GitHub. I really hope I'm pronouncing the right, it's Chiaki and it is an open source and it's free, but it's not endorsed or certified by Sony, but not a problem. It works for us and that's all we care about. Le all right, let's go down here to where you can download it from. So guys, as you can see, I'm gonna drop this link in the description, so don't worry about that. And when you look over here, so you have Chiaki for Android, for Linux, for Mac OS, and for Windows as well. Unfortunately, we don't have a Chiaki app for iOS, but guys, as you can see here, this is what we need for Mac. And if you're Android, you can use this. Oh, and you also have Chiaki available on the Play Store, so you don't have to actually download this and transfer it to your mobile phone. So guys, that is one of the requirements that we need is to have the Chiaki app. All right, guys, so the second very important uh, requirement that I would personally suggest, I would really strongly suggest you to go ahead and PSN activate your PS4 so you can actually benefit from two different things. One, save your games, back up your games in case your hard drive corrupts or anything goes wrong. You will have your save games always there. Now two is to enable remote play even when you're not jailbroken. So guys, just to point out and to be very clear, the first time you're pairing, you need to be jailbroken. Uh, and after that, henceforth, if you are already PSN activated, you can go ahead and you know connect your remote play even when you're not jailbroken so you don't have to worry about it i've dropped a very detailed tutorial step by step on how to activate your ps4 with psn if you have an account great you can activate it with your account if you do not have an account you can just create a fake one and i've explained that in very detail guys so don't worry about it it's very clear it's very step by step go check it out i will drop a link in the description as well so guys, another requirement that's very essential, you need to be in the same network of your PS4 and the device you're trying to remote play in. It does not need to have internet working, but it needs to be a hotspot or a Wi-Fi device. As long as there's a connection, it should work perfectly fine. Okay guys, Chiaki for Mac. So as you can see here, I do have the app running and I do have my PS4 already registered. If I just go and click this, it's gonna go and load my PS4 right here. So as you can see, there you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this and I'm going to go ahead and get it done from the beginning so you guys can benefit from it. If you go to settings right here, you can see there's your keyboard settings right here and your resolution. Obviously you need a PS4 Pro for 1080p, but moving on towards that, this is my registered console at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this so you guys can actually see how it's done from the beginning. Okay, are you sure you want to delete the console? Yes. Okay, now it's deleted and I'm going to restart the app. All right guys, so as you can see now, um, I re reopened the app, but you can see this is unregistered. So, it, you know, the app should automatically find uh, a PS4 on the network. So when you go here and I click this, this is how you start registering it. So in order to get these information down, I'm gonna show that to you in just a second. All right, so as you can see there, I'm on the PS4. Okay, so you gotta go to settings, and when you go down from settings, scroll all the way down, go to system, system information. Can you see that? That is your IP address. Here, go ahead and put in the IP address. It should auto detect your IP address so it already fills it in. So guys, now comes this next text part, which is, I'm sure you're already on the 6.72 firmware, so you gotta choose this one, which is less than 7.0. And it's gonna ask for your online ID. So when you notice your online ID, so guys, that is your online ID right there. So it's SAM, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go type this down, Sam, and your PIN. Guys, um, before you go ahead and pair your PS4, it is absolutely important 
to be jailbroken with hen and i completely recommend you know lethal's hen test that's pretty much what is extremely stable for me and i never had any issues there maybe once in the blue moon that i have a jailbreak failed so i'm gonna do this live again and there we go guys now we are absolutely jailbroken circle to exit great so now we're in a jailbroken state guys all right guys so we got the ip address done and i also got the username done so now comes with the pin so what you got to do go to settings scroll down to a remote play connection settings and add device so that you what you see there is what it is so i'm going to go and put the pin down here so eight four two nine two zero nine one okay and i'm going to click on register and there you go it's registered hassle free just straightforward just like that and now it's registered so what i'm going to do i'm going to go and connect it in here and um just double click that and there you go guys it is now completely functioning so guys that's how you go ahead and pair it on your mac all right so now we're going to move into windows okay guys coming to windows right now so you have two different options you can use you can either use chiaki or you can use the official remote play from sony in order to use this you can't use the regular one that's from sony that's the latest one i'm talking about there's a specific version right here so we're going to go ahead and install this one so I'm gonna install the specific version, guys. I'm gonna drop a link in the description so you guys can totally know which one to use. So guys, as you can see, when you run this without any patch, it's just gonna go check for an update. It's gonna ask you to update the PS4 Play in order to update. If you hit no, it's just gonna quit and it's not gonna switch on. So we're gonna use the Remote Play Patcher and we're gonna run this as Administrator. So once the patcher runs, let's click on Click Me. Well, I don't really care about this. I'm just gonna to do that. Okay, so it was successfully patched. So now when you go ahead and run it, it's not going to ask for the update anymore, guys. As you can see, it just loads straight off. And uh, this is what we're going to do. Plain and simple, click on start and you're already good to go because you don't have to do any crazy setups with the PS4. It's just done automatically. Straight ahead, guys. Without any questions, it just paired right off. Like you did not even need to do anything, actually. And perfect. This is how you go ahead and get it done, guys. So guys, on Windows, as you can see here, uh, it is unregistered with Chiaki as well. So I'm going to go and register it again. It is on the same one and I'm going to use my username that is Sam and I'm going to get the pin. So likewise, guys, in the previous tutorial, as I mentioned in the, the Mac version, so I'm going to go and do the same thing. I'm going to go to remote play connection, add a device and I'm going to put the numbers in. So 65186987. Click on register and successfully registered. As simple as that. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. There we go. It is connected now. All right, to the Android tutorial side, luckily I did have an Android phone laying around. So I've been able to go ahead and make a tutorial about Android as well. If you go to the Play Store and I, I can see I already searched for Chiaki, just go ahead and click tap that and it should come up. There you go, the first one right there and I already have it installed. So there you go, you can just go ahead and install it. So once you install it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the app. There it is. So I'm gonna open up Chiaki. So guys, you need to be in the same network, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one here. Uh, oh wow, it also says the app that's suspended in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and try if I can delete that one. Okay, register consoles. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can delete it. There we go, I'm gonna delete. Okay, starting fresh guys, starting fresh. So guys, as you can see, it shows up the app, uh, the PS4 right here. So I'm gonna register the console. It does give you the IP address straightforward. You don't have to worry about that. Scrolling down, obviously it is less than uh, 7.02. So I'm gonna go here. My online ID, as you mentioned, is over there. It is Sam. It is case sensitive. So just go ahead and put that down. And then once you're done with that, it needs the pin. So for the pin, obviously we need to go ahead back to the PS4. Wow, it looks terrible on that. I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. It's 97056. Register. And as you can see, register successful. Great. So I'm going to go back. And now I can go ahead and totally just double tap that. And guys, you're going to get connected. I'm going to just turn this around. I'm going to take this out of this little hook. So guys, there you go. Um, you have all these little settings. This is go home. And you can actually totally see it. But right on the Android phone, and you also have the little buttons. I'm not sure if you can see it. If I go back into the settings, if you notice there, 
you do have all of these little buttons slightly layered on top over there you can totally use these buttons even while gaming so for example i do have uh call of duty suspended in the back so let's go right into it i'm just gonna go straight into it click on x uh there you go there's an analog okay let me wow this is this is pretty hard too <laughs> Okay, I'm probably totally killing myself over here. Okay, so guys, there you go. And uh, you can totally just move around. Uh, just, you know, walk around. Totally killing myself right now. Yep, I'm dead. Sweet game. <laughs> so guys, that's how you basically play with your Android phone. It totally works. Go ahead and check it out. And uh, yep, that's how you go and do it on your Android phone. So I hope that was helpful. Let's, uh, yep. Yeah. It's pretty much done with that one. Okay guys, so the final tip over here, how to avoid that update now or update later. So this is the tutorial and I'm gonna take you right through it. Let's go. All right guys, I'm so sorry about the bad quality on this one. It's a really cheap LED TV that I just use on the side, but let's see. See, as you can see, I am loaded into, I'm, I'm actually connected to the internet. If I just type down Google for instance, I'm trying to do this one-handed because I have my mic held in my hand. I really hope. Okay, so there you go. So Google is working. And All right, so okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to network. And though I'm already connected to the same network, I'm going to go and set it up again. But this time I'm going to use Wi-Fi, but instead of using easy, you'll have to use custom. So use custom, choose the same Wi-Fi you're using, not a problem. And then, you know, I'm going to put in the password. Okay, so now that you have your password put in, and it's doing the setup connections. Okay, IP address, let it be automatic. Don't worry about it. DHCP hostname, do not specify. Now this DNS setting is where it's important. You go to manual instead, and you see the primary and secondary DNS. So this is what I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in Alasiv's DNS. So I'm gonna leave the DNS in the description. Just go and fill that in. So all you gotta do is just follow this one here. Just put this up and you should be connected officially to Alasiv's DNS. So let me go and finish that up real quick. Just a second. Now the secondary one, go and get it from the description. 58, done. So you see that now we have a different DNS is set up. Click next. MTU setting, don't worry about it, leave it automatic. Proxy servers, do not use. And that's about it, guys. If you go for testing, everything still works because it doesn't matter with the DNS, it just still works. But here's what I'm talking about. If you go to settings now, and when you try to access the user's guide, which is to go straight to PlayStation.com. If I do this, click on user's guide, it's not gonna go to PlayStation anymore. It's gonna go to Allah Saves website. Look at that. So guys, even if you are not using Allah Saves website, don't worry about it. It doesn't really matter. So what I do normally is, even if I'm not really using um, Allah Saves website, if I go to the internet browser, what I normally do, I do have all the, the exploits that I use in the bookmarks over here. This is what I normally use. I go to hint test and I proceed to jailbreak. So guys, don't worry about that. Doesn't mean you have to use Allah Seif's website especially, but you know what I'm talking about Allah Seif's website, I should probably give you some test. I haven't been able to test that. I haven't actually tested that in quite some time now since lethal has been launching his extremely stable jailbreak. Okay, so as you can see, I am jailbroken and the last time we had the error of upload, you know, update your system. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna jump back into my system so we can actually record this in a more higher clarity now that I'm done over here. So now that I'm all logged in, what I'm gonna do now, I'm all jailbroken. As you can see, I'm gonna go to settings. There you go, all jailbroken. And now let's go and try and launch a game and let's hope that doesn't give you that annoying update pop-up. Let's see. There you go, guys. No more update now or update later pop-up for you. All right, so this is all that you gotta do. All right, just as an example, I'm gonna try and open up another game. Let's go back home, say I open up Call of Duty. Okay. There we go. Absolutely no more update now or update later issues anymore. All right, that's about it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, drop a subscribe, and do share this video. 
And guys, do let me know in the comments if you want me to cover some tutorials. I'd be glad to look into that and help you guys out with another tutorial. Hope you have a great weekend and enjoy some lovely remote play. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video.